Monsieur le Chancelier, Monsieur le Président du Conseil d'administration, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, Leanne Martin, Margie Gillis, honored platform guests, graduating students, parents, et amis. My name is Annie Gérin, and I am the Dean of Fine Arts. I would like to begin by acknowledging that Concordia University is located on unceded indigenous lands. The Ganyan Gehaga Nation is recognized as the custodians of the lands and waters on which we <laughs> gather today. Jejage, ou Montréal, est historiquement connu comme un lieu de rassemblement pour de nombreuses Premières Nations et aujourd'hui une population autochtone diversifiée ainsi que d'autres peuples y résident. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationship with Indigenous and other people in the Montreal community. It's not often that we get together in public, on stage, to recognize a major milestone in our lives. But tonight is definitely one of those times. We have three graduate years assembled here in person, and I am thrilled to join you to celebrate your accomplishments. Each one of you who walks across the stage tonight marks the completion of your academic program as, yet, as well as the years you have spent with friends in the Faculty of Fine Arts. As you walk off stage into your future, I want you to know just how proud I am of all of you. I want to acknowledge just how many lives you have changed during your time with us and how much we have learned from one another. I especially admire your courage and your resilience over those last few dis difficult years. It's a genuine privilege to share this evening with all of you. I would also like to welcome our honorary doctorates Leanne Martin and Margie Gillis. Leanne and Margie are role models for our cultural community, and tonight they also become the graduates of distinction worthy of our deepest admiration. And now, I would like to invite Ch Chancellor Jonathan Weiner to the podium to say a few words. Jonathan. Please be seated. Dear graduates, distinguished guests and attendees, it feels truly wonderful to stand here today to celebrate our new graduates. Congratulations to each of you. I commend your perseverance, dedication, and hard work. Despite the many challenges and continuous curveballs life threw at you, these past two years, you did it. Take pride in your accomplishments. Enjoy this moment in the company of loved ones who played an important role in your success. Graduation is an important milestone. For most of you, it marks the end of your time as a student and the start of your professional journey. The past two years have been challenging. We suffered loss, isolation, uncertainty, and fear. Yet we witnessed incredible fortitude, innovation, and creativity. Concordia transitioned its entire curriculum online in a matter of weeks. Our preparedness allowed us to continue teaching and learning during a time of great upheaval. More importantly, the pandemic revealed our community's true spirit. We saw an incredible outpouring of kindness, empathy, and generosity. Réfléchissez aux leçons que vous avez tirées de la pandémie et d'une période d'énormes changements sociaux et mondiaux. 
les défis que vous avez surmontés vous ont rendu plus forts et plus adaptables. Ce que vous avez vécu restera avec vous pour le reste de votre vie. C'est une histoire que vous raconterez à vos petits-enfants et que vous servira tout au long de votre carrière. The world is going through a period of monumental change that touches almost every aspect of our lives. Add to the fact that you're transitioning from an environment where everyone told you what you should do to one where you now have to decide what you want to do. Believe me when I say your path will not be in a straight line. That decision, what you want to do, is among the most important you will make. Be bold, take chances, and do not be afraid to make mistakes. This is how you will discover what works and what doesn't. Thomas Edison made a thousand attempts at inventing the light bulb. When he finally succeeded, a reporter asked him what it felt like to fail a thousand times. Edison replied, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. Accept failure as part of the process and learn from it. Vous rejoignez un réseau mondial de diplômés de plus de 240 000 personnes. Tirez parti de ce réseau, profitez des énormes ressources et de la communauté qui existe à Concordia. Il n'y a jamais eu d'aussi important pénurie de diplômés éduqués et formés dans la plupart des industries. There are countless opportunities yet that may be in areas you haven't considered. With the rapid pace of technology and the advent of artificial intelligence, the world is transforming before our eyes. To strive, you have to be leaders of change. Do not be afraid to lead by exerting a positive influence on those around you. Note that when you elevate others, you elevate yourself. When you have finally achieved success, remember that you did not do so alone. You were helped by those who paved the road before you and helped you along the way. Remember to give back, whether financially or through the gift of your knowledge and valuable time. Give back to our alma mater and community by investing in its future generation of graduates, just as previous generations have invested in you. Define your success by the degree to which you positively affect your communities. I want to thank President Graham Carr for his leadership and vision over the past two years. He oversaw the university's transition from in-person to online learning and teaching. Il aurait été plus facile de passer en mode survie et d'attendre que la crise passe. Au lieu de cela, Graham a pris les rênes de l'université avec courage, intégrité, panache et un leadership exceptionnel. Merci, Graham. I want to thank all the faculty and staff who work so tirelessly to provide the best possible education and services to our students and broader community, to the parents, friends, and loved ones who supported our new graduates through their challenging journey, thank you. Finally, to our new graduates, I couldn't be prouder of you. It wasn't easy, and it wasn't what you expected, yet with true Concordia experience, spirit, you persevered. Apply that strength and determination to your career and to your life, and I have no doubt you will realize your dreams and ambitions. Dream big and follow your passion. As a fellow graduate, I wish you all good luck, good health, and good fortune. Chapeau et merci. I would like to ask uh, 
Graham Carr, President and Vice Chancellor, to address the convocation. Thank you. Uh, following uh, Dean Gérin and Chancellor Wiener, let me be the third person to congratulate you, but you know the expression, third time's the charm. Convocations are a joyous occasion, but since our last convocation in November 2019, it hasn't been the best of times. Les difficultés, les tragédies et les injustices sont bien trop présentes. Qu'il s'agisse de la terrible guerre en Ukraine, de la fusillade dans une école primaire au Texas, du meurtre de George Floyd ou des découvertes obsédantes de tombes d'enfants autochtones au Canada. Selon l'Agence des Nations Unies pour les réfugiés, il y a environ 26 millions de réfugiés dans le monde, environ la moitié d'entre eux ont moins de 18 ans. L'UNESCO estime que 250 millions d'enfants dans le monde, en majorité des jeunes filles, n'ont pas accès aux compétences de base en littérature. Pendant ce temps, la température du monde devient de plus en plus chaude, les incendies font rage de manière incontrôlable, les espaces disparaissent et l'eau aussi. Et puis, Il y a le COVID-19 qui, selon l'Organisation mondiale de la santé, a causé 6,3 millions de décès dans le monde au 1er juin. Like students everywhere, your last two years were disrupted by swift adaptation to remote learning, restricted access to studios and labs, and campus life that was a shadow of what the student experience is meant to be. Yet, here you are today, graduating. In some ways, you, we, are all incredibly fortunate. So how should that fortune inform how we celebrate your convocation? It's exactly the larger context of the past two years and the present that makes this celebration this evening so meaningful. That you're being celebrated today speaks to your determination, tenacity, and adaptability, as both the Dean and the Chancellor have said. It also speaks to the extraordinary efforts of faculty and staff who were committed to your success. Yes, the last two years were at times frustrating, discouraging, disappointing. But when you compare your achievements with the litany of things happening in the world, savor the privilege and good fortune in being here today. As we celebrate together, let's also imagine what we as a university and you as our graduates can do with our own good fortune to bring joy, hope, and beauty to a world that needs your talent. Let me first speak about what I hope for the university. There's a ranking called the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. It measures how universities perform against the objectives of the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals. This year, more than 1,400 universities around the world participated in the ranking. Concordia, I'm pleased to say, ranked in the top 50 for our work to reduce inequality. 20th for how we perform on climate action. And it gets better, fifth in the world for our leadership in creating smart cities and communities. Not bad for a university that hasn't yet turned 50 years old. But even more important than the rankings are what those three categories say about our values. Our commitment to opportunity and accessibility to environmental responsibility, to blending technology with design to improve the quality of urban life for all. It's work that's happening across all our faculties. It's certainly happening in fine arts, and it's soon to be augmented by the new School of Health we're in the process of designing. 
And as the name of the rankings implies, it's about impact. Research, creativity, learning, and actions that make a difference in our world. And this is why the lessons of the last two years are so important for universities. La pandémie a perturbé, perturbé notre façon de travailler, a remis en question les hypothèses fondamentales sur l'enseignement et l'apprentissage, a modélisé de nouvelles approches pour faire de la recherche et, surtout, a souligné que le rythme des choses s'est accéléré et est devenu plus urgent à l'ère numérique. Bien sûr, Certaines universités traditionnelles chercheront désespérément à revenir à la situation d'avant COVID, mais les universités innovantes se rendront compte qu'il n'y a pas de retour en arrière. For us at Concordia, the good fortune of this moment is that it pushes us to think differently about our university of the future. How can we accomplish even more to marshal our expertise and advance our values? How can we transform ourselves to exert even greater impact in the world, whether that's the difference we make to our students' lives or how we become leaders in tackling the grand challenges of our time? Which brings me to you, the graduates. I believe there are two key performance indicators that measure university success. How does university research, creativity, and innovation contribute to the public good? And what do our graduates go on to do after they graduate? Some of you already have big ambitions for your future. Others may be very uncertain about what the road ahead will bring. And that's why this next part of the convocation ceremony matters. At Concordia, we choose our honorary doctorates for inspiration. We look for individuals who've accomplished great things in their respective fields, sometimes in the public spotlight, sometimes not. We also look for individuals who embody our values, including an awareness that the world is not an even playing field. Nous choisissons des personnes qui ont démontré la vision et la capacité de diriger, d'innover, d'enseigner, d'améliorer, de créer, de transformer des individus fiers de penser de manière indépendante qui relèvent le défi créant et innovant. One thing we need to understand about honorary degrees, however, is that the honor goes two ways. The recipients of a Concordia Honorary Doctorate honor us by their willingness to be part of who we are as a university and what we aspire to become. They honor us by their belief that we align with their values and recognize that the university also wants to make a difference and impact in the area where they are blazing trails. In a, miss, in a minute, you'll listen to citations for two honorary doctorates, Margie Gillis and Leanne Martin. Margie Gillis, one of the most gifted choreographers and dancers of our time, or, or at least of my time, an artist and a volunteer whose work has always been intimately grounded in social context and political expression. Leanne Martin, one of Canada's foremost curators of art and a prodigious champion of the richly diverse and stunningly vibrant culture of Indigenous art and an ardent proponent of the value of art in Indigenous education. I'll stop there lest I steal the words of the citation and instead what I'm asking you to do as you bathe yourselves in this ceremony in this rite of passage to another phase of your lives is to be inspired to commit to how you too can apply the privilege of a great education to make a difference in the world. In these troubled times, what makes this convocation ceremony so meaningful is not only that it encapsulates your successes and that of our honorary doctorates, but also the evergreen promise 
that universities are places of inquiry, imagination, intelligence, knowledge, and innovation, offering solutions to the world. Félicitations encore. Congratulations again on your success. I look forward to the impact you're sure to make. Thank you. Merci. Monsieur le Chancelier, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter Madame Margie Gillis, une illustre ambassadrice culturelle et artistique du Québec et du Canada. Lorsque Madame Gillis s'est révélée au public dans le milieu des années 70, elle a vite gagné en notoriété dans le milieu de la danse contemporaine grâce à sa gestuelle puissante et novatrice et à sa voix singulière. As a solo dancer and choreographer, Ms. Gillis has since performed or created more than 150 original works seen by thousands and thousands across North and South America, Asia, and Europe. She has appeared in dozens of film and photography projects and collaborated with some of the most important companies and dance artists of her era. She founded the Margie Gillis Dance Foundation to support and present her artistic works, while the Margie Gillis Legacy Project Dance Company allows her to share her wisdom with the next generation of artists. Ms. Gillis also strongly believes in the power of dance to create positive change in the world, particularly in support of social justice and health-focused issues. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Conseil d'administration et du Sénat, J'ai le privilège et l'honneur de vous présenter Madame Margie Gillis afin que vous lui décerniez un doctorat S Beaux-Arts Honoris Causa. I'd like to now ask Dr. Gillis to address the convocation. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family, and friends. Here we are standing on Indigenous territory, and my thanks goes to those who are caregivers of this earth. May we also be good caregivers and defenders, mindful that the body that we hold is part of nature and a doorway to wise decision making. And so congratulations for all of you and what you have accomplished in coming to this moment. Brava, bravo. Here you are jumping into a world as it is universally undergoing radical transformation. It is a world of demanding challenges, instability, of new constraints, and of innovative ways of functioning. Some of you will be able to fly fully right into your desired professions. Your passions will be tested. And for you, I wish stamina, inspiration, and especially discerning compassion for the world you are actively creating. Many others of you will immediately have a bump your path to face. You will be confronted with the challenge that it is not time to bring forth your gifts. It is not time to actively work with the brilliance you wish to share and shine into this world. One of the hardest things to face is the, ability to not do, the inability to do our work or to share and practice our talents. 
to you, I offer this advice. Work with seeds. Work with your cocoon. Big ideas are needed, and big ideas, technologies, visions, talents, and desires incubate and are nurtured in such times. Hold your center. Practice stillness into movement. Feel beginnings. Imagine the larger vision pushing out your edges. Bless the frustration that grows your purpose deeper, clearer, and wiser. Hold an active place for joy. Sorrow can overcome us. Do not be seduced. Go through sorrow, be seduced by joy. Move to envisioned joy. The time will come, keep dreaming and caring for yourself. Engage in the beauty of caring for others. Be open to new passions. Breathe in deeply and create action that holds and supports the world you want to see manifest in your lifetime. The visions you are aching to birth will be as real as prayer and substance, though they may unfold in unique ways as yet to be seen. All of you are now creating a needed new world vision. Peace, global responsibility, sustainability, and equitability are not just concepts, they are real and urgent necessities. There is a wonderful line from a Leonard Cohen song, you don't want to lie to the young. So as an elder artist who has lived through times of poverty and challenged transformation, through astonishing miracle, want and wonder, this I know, the problem becomes the strength. Your problem becomes your strength. Blessings on each of you and thank you. It's a joy to be here. Dr. Gillis, I want to thank you for your remarks. I have a tingle down my spine as I listen to you because what I think you described was the metamorphosis of a student into their new life. And I, my wife loves butterflies because of the metamorphosis that they go through. And I think that's the symbolism of what you brought to us today. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, it is my honor to present to you Ms. Leanne Martin, a revolutionary figure in the study and influence of Indigenous art. For more than three decades, Ms. Martin has curated, written, and lectured extensively on contemporary Indigenous art, both nationally and internationally. Her contribution to visual art and curatorial practice in Canada cannot be overstated. Ms. Martin has helped cur carve institutional space for the Indigenous arts community. A report she produced in 1990 led the Canada Council for the Arts to develop an acquisition program for works by contemporary Indigenous artists, which helped correct their long-standing systemic exclusion from public collections. While working at the Canadian Museum of Civilization in the early 1990s, she co-curated the seminal exhibition Indigena, Perspectives of Indigenous Peoples on 500 Years, a critical response to the five-century anniversary of European colonization. The show was the first Indigenous curated exhibition organized, oops, My apologies. As Concordia undertakes its decolonization process to redress historical inequities, we could, look no, we could look to no greater model than Ms. Martin. 
Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Board of Governors and Senate, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Ms. Leanne Martin so that you may confer upon her the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa. I would like to now ask Dr. Martin to address the convocation. Thank you. This is pretty exciting. I'm excited tonight. It's wonderful. <laughs> so, good evening, um, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family, and friends. I thank you so much for honoring me with this doctorate today. It is my great pleasure to speak with you on this very special day. Congratulations to each of you on the, this milestone achievement. With your graduation, I hope that the desire to grow and learn continues with you well into the future. Focus on what excites you because it will lead you to wonderful places. I can speak for that myself. Whatever it is that you decide to work towards over the coming years, <clears throat> I really recommend leading with kindness and compassion. Generosity of spirit towards those around you will ensure you are far more likely to learn from them and in turn make you better at what you want to do. I have been most fortunate over my lifetime to combine the passions of an avocation with the responsibilities of a vocation. I think we are truly blessed when we can blur the lines between work and play, when we are able to do what we love and love what we do. I had grown up watching my grandmother and others gather and braid sweetgrass. I had participated in various events on my home reserve of Tyendinaga and at the Urban Friendship Centre in Toronto. So when I began my university education, in the before times way back when in the early 1970s, I wanted to gain more knowledge about indigenous peoples, their communities, and the art that they were making. However, I quickly found that courses on indigenous people were wanting and courses on indigenous art simply did not exist at that time. Growing up in the city and as a working mother who could only take night courses, I supplemented my education with visits to indigenous family, friends, and elders. <clears throat> Much later, after moving to the United States, I was very fortunate to study as a mature, full-time student at the University of Maine, alma mater of Dr. Carr, I must say, uh, where I enjoyed a curriculum fine-tuned to my growing passion for indigenous art. This was accomplished with the support and guidance of two faculty members, one in anthropology and one in art history, who became close friends and colleagues. And then several years later, I was motivated to begin my studies toward the Masters of Museum Studies at the, Museum, at the University of Toronto. Inspired by my previous employment at the museum at the University of Maine, it had become painfully apparent to me that indigenous perspectives in the field of museology were both, <coughs> excuse me, insufficiently underrepresented and profoundly needed. And this was in the late 1980s. But university gave me the confidence and direction I needed to do what really mattered to me. Museum studies allowed me the opportunity to research the timely debates involving museums and indigenous peoples, including collections, conservation, representations, inclusion, etc. 
Following graduation, I felt that I had been in the right place at the right time with the right degree as I was invited to coordinate the task force on museums and first people, peoples and to serve as curatorial resident at the Canadian Museum of History, <clears throat> which was then the Canadian Museum of Civilization. These experiences allowed me to meet and debate issues with diverse individuals across the country and around the world. And so I stand before you to accept this honorary degree, not alone, but because of the support of so many people throughout my life, beginning with my parents in my early life to my children and husband today. Again, I would not be here without the understanding and vision of so many faculty members, colleagues, and museum directors who encouraged me to research and develop so many curatorial projects. But it was the indigenous artists and the growing number of indigenous curatorial colleagues with whom I became closely, most closely connected from early in my career to the present day. It has always been the artist from whom I've learned and enjoyed close friendships and support. I would like to acknowledge the importance of the large community of Indigenous artists here in Canada and internationally. And I know that several of you are here this evening, and for that I am greatly humbled. And I also want to acknowledge um, Concordia University for its programs and initiatives to include and develop Indigenous art and cultures in their programs. Indigenous artists and arts professionals have developed a formidable in intellectual force that champions the premises of Indigenous beliefs and practices. These are the people who continue to inspire my work as a curator. I hope that one day, too, one day you too will find your community of inventive and encouraging colleagues. So today I wish each of you a prosperous path forward, whatever that might mean for you. And again, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to be included in this wonderful celebration. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you. Dr. Martin, thank you for your remarks. I've long believed that art is food for the soul, and what better evening to nourish all of our souls. Thank you. While our graduates prepared across the stage, I invite you to enjoy the music of the Concordia Jazz Trio.
Hello, everyone. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy from the following programs, Art Education, Art History, Film and Moving Images, Humanities, Fine Arts, Individualized Program, Fine Arts. Emmanuelle Dufour, winner of the Governor General's Gold Medal conferred by Her Excellency, the Governor General of Canada, and awarded to the highest ranking graduate student graduating from Concordia University. Jennifer Alice Wicks. Paula Alaskowitz. Jessica Vivers. Zachi Melser. Norman James Hogg. Sharif Nader Alphonse Goubron. <laughs> Ida Marie Toft. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Arts from the following programs, Art Education and Art History. Fatima Abbasi. <laughs> Yiwen Chao. Yiwen Chao. <laughs> Lara El Tanir. <laughs> Rana Jradini. <laughs> Leila Rafahi. Eva Roy. Arian Weeks. Jacqueline Wexler. Serena Mira de Sonies. <laughs> Yasmin Mujed Kanan. <laughs> Lisa Massa. Krista Nemnom. (Applause) 
Vanessa Sikut. Shannon Marie Stride. She's not on the list, you just have to read her name. Next. Yeah. Yep. Sabrina Arsenault. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Arts from the following programs. Creative Arts Therapies, Art Therapy. Creative Arts Therapies, Drama Therapy. Creative Arts Therapies, Music Therapy. Film and Moving Image Studies, Individualized Program, Fine Arts. Cynthia Cousineau. Mariam Jarami. Jude Alam Ibrahim. Lily Denise Jimenez Dabdub. Natalie Malena Ortiz. <laughs> Irina Polak Verono. <laughs> Olivia Jean Steimist. Jennifer Lee Wiley Valorant. Jade Ann Wilshaw. Ruth Miriam Alvarado Bernal. Lorianne Brebin. Gabrielle Coutou. Fiona Green. Jeffrey Todd Hunter. Rosie Kuftajian. Amanda Rosamaria Mara. Angie Kala Ross. <laughs> Jessica Morgan Heiss. Ingrid Wissink. Victoria Rose Berndt. Asha Duran. Sarah Folks.
Laura Daniela Quiroga Fattori. Bibek Tapa. Tian Nan Tran. Maggie Catherine Hunter. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Design. Puyan Alizade. Beatriz Walansky Brito. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Fine Arts from the following program, Studio Arts. Melanie Arsenault. Adebowale and Itan Babington Ashai. Brent Cleveland. Renee Kondo. Anna Carolina Iunez Di Pava Botello. <laughs> Danielle Leclerc. <laughs> Dr. Mayel. Scott Osborne. Christina Patterson. Catherine Slalate. Sachiko Sumi. Swapna Tamhain. <laughs> Katarina Vatsik. <laughs> I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate diploma in the following program, Music Therapy. Keila Morrison Partridge. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Fine Arts from the following departments, Art Education, Art History. Ashley Asuncion Morales, with distinction, member of the Garnet Key Society. <laughs> Penale Beauvoir. <laughs> Rodo Damulianos with distinction.
Sylvia Rachel Ehrlichman Gross with distinction. Alison French. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Hernandez with distinction. <laughs> Maisha Mashur. Sasha Semlanois with distinction. <laughs> Sydney Ann Sakara. <laughs> Ola Serhal. Nayara Noor Shabir with distinction. <laughs> Ariel Emily Anjani Sinton. <laughs> Jaylan Ray Vance with distinction. Kelsey Wong. <laughs> Olena Zamkova with distinction, winner of the Art Education Prize awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in art education. Mackenzie Acker with distinction. <laughs> Angel Atlan with distinction. <laughs> Carol Ann Brosseau Bourbonnière. Molly Siobhan Caillé. <laughs> Alexandra Clifford. <laughs> Annalisa Kogo with distinction. Ma Zia Rebecca de la Bajan. <laughs> Emmanuel A. De Rocher, with great distinction, winner of the R. Bella Rabinovich Art History Prize, awarded to the most outstanding graduate, graduating student in art history. Joya Dushkik, with great distinction, winner of the R. Bella Rabinovich Art History Prize, awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in art history. <laughs> Sydney Guy, with distinction. Melissa Hedaroglu with distinction. <laughs> Joshua Hafel. <laughs> Cassandra Lavoie. Dominique Levac. Gabriel McNeil.
Gazelle, Gazelle Moradi Bastani with distinction. Brianna Owens. Billy Palmer. Vanessa Pugliesi. Victoria Rida. Chiara Victoria Scosia with distinction. Cassie Tellier Charles with distinction. Carrie Julia Valmestad with great distinction. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Fine Arts and the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Arts from the following departments. Mel Hoppenheim School of Cinema, Contemporary Dance. Sayed Habib El Bari Ahmad with distinction. Fabrice Alexandre. <laughs> Carla Alvarado Sanchez with distinction. <laughs> Rachel Baudouin. Alan Blake with distinction. <laughs> Jasmine Ashley Kaimit. <laughs> Craig Commanda. Juliet Kreitz. <laughs> Olivia Nora Mayet Curry. <laughs> Lily Mary Daldalian with distinction. Michaela Dau with distinction. <laughs> Sherlyn De Assis with great distinction. <laughs> Tobias William Di Carlo with great distinction. Spencer Vern Dixon with distinction. <laughs> Shaila Lynn Dohan. <laughs> Joshua David Eckers with distinction. Nela Fassi. <laughs> Anthony Flanagan with distinction.
Vivian Forsans with distinction. Hannah Fortin, with great distinction, winner of the Cinema Prize awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in cinema, winner of the Malone Medal presented in honor of Reverend Patrick G. Malone, SJ. and awarded to the undergraduate graduating student whose efforts and dedication best exemplify the values of the university within the internal Concordia community. Adeline Gascon, with distinction. Isabel Gatti. Edouard Godbou Corriveau, with distinction. <laughs> Manuela Nuremberg Gon Gon excuse me, Gonsalves, thank you, with distinction. <laughs> Katrina Marie Goudreau Weaver. Alyssa Sheila Green. <laughs> Elliot Arthur Genoden. <laughs> Michaela Jordan Harrison. Rose Heim. <laughs> Renee Inez Yvonne Hennigan Como with distinction. <laughs> Duk Tuan Ho. Zachary Horowitz Fenlon with distinction. Brandon Joshua Hunt with distinction. Anthony Samuel Jean Louis. Joyce Juma, with distinction. Marianne Loranger Cayat, with distinction. Eloise Kozegi. Martin Mitchell Kramer with distinction. <laughs> Ustash Philippe Kuhn with, distic with distinction. <laughs> Jacob Laundry with great distinction. Harold Joshua Espanola Lara with great distinction. Marguerite Valérie Lauzon with distinction. Beatrice Victoria Marie Ledu. Francis Nicole Livara with distinction. <laughs> Ch 
Giulio Cosmo Lombardo with distinction. Andres Fernando Lopez Sauri with distinction. Adam Mbo with distinction. Marie Celeste Delano Tremblay McNiven with distinction. Abuzar Merkpur. Céline Nassar with great distinction. Carl Obakan Nvele. Aiden Roy Nicelle with distinction. <laughs> William O'Connor Savaria with distinction. <laughs> Camille Wallet with distinction. William Paget with great distinction. Adriana Paquette with great distinction. Melanie Christina Parkinson with distinction. Nicole Perry. <laughs> Kathy L. Pham with distinction. <laughs> Kaya Magan Philippe. Yuya Quinn. <laughs> Gabriel Reginaldo y Silva with distinction. <laughs> Matthew Levesque Rice with great distinction. Dante Santella with distinction. <laughs> Zoe Natasha Marie Sarkar. <laughs> Ev Savar with distinction. Elizabeth Skein. <laughs> Grillian Scorney with great with great distinction. <laughs> Isabel Slattery with great distinction. Yuri Maxim Hans Telmazuk Payar with distinction. <laughs> Marie Alexandra Stowe with distinction. <laughs> Philip Petrov Vasilev with distinction.
Ying Zhang with distinction. <laughs> Juliette Bejin with distinction. <laughs> Hannah Marie Hollingham with distinction. Ramiz Karim with distinction. <laughs> Marie Victoria Laurence with great distinction. <laughs> Rose Elizabeth Lenardic. Marianne Alicia Lynch with distinction. Claudie Pergalino. Amy Jessica Pilette with distinction. Selena Grace Russo with distinction. Please enjoy this short video highlighting student life at Concordia before we continue with calling of graduates. I am pleased to introduce you the candidates for the Bachelor of baccalaureate in fine arts from the following departments. Design and computation arts, music, studio arts, and theater. Zara Amadi with distinction. Miriam Ashraf Abdel Fattah Mahmoud Alela. Violette Arnaud with distinction. Ibrahim Badawi. Adèle Bédard, with distinction. Sebastian Felipe Beltran Acevedo. Stefania Bodea. Valérie Bourdon, with distinction. Paris Emily Canham. Maria Chabelnik, with distinction. Tiffany Chen, with distinction and winner of the Computation Arts Prize awarded to the most outstanding graduate student in Computation Arts. <laughs> Daniel Adolfo Cortez, with distinction. Megan Lauren Cullen. <laughs> Ching Yi Deng. <laughs> Ho 
Rosemarie Dion. Dominique Dragon. Claire Mathilde Duby Rio, with distinction. Anaïs Essitian, with distinction. Mihaela Georgetta Eftini with distinction. <laughs> Serena Elkarat with distinction. <laughs> Raphael Gagnon with distinction. Shaneli Gadi Pasha with distinction. <laughs> Therese Tian An Wang with distinction. <laughs> Manami Izawa with distinction. Maya Jain Schleipfer with distinction and winner of the Lydia Sharman Award awarded annually to a graduating undergraduate student in the Department of Design and Computation Arts whose profile demonstrates an abiding commitment to sustainable design. Emily Lillies. Anthony Long Yi Lum with distinction. Oscar Conrad Marway. Inez Beatrice Marmonnier. <laughs> Melissa Meunier. <laughs> Sabrina Mikosi with distinction. Nikola Mitrovich. <laughs> Fong Hao Nguyen with distinction. <laughs> Andre Nok with distinction. Kelly Golda Patilla with distinction. <laughs> Brian Pham. <laughs> Ma Una Nicole M. Regino. Jordan. Emma Rodney with distinction. Thank you. 
Amanda Samios Walkinshaw. Madeline Maria Schmidt, with distinction. <laughs> Timothy Melvin Serrano. <laughs> Alessia Signorino, with distinction. Ariana Severa Alvarado, with distinction. <laughs> Lulwa Tabara. <laughs> Vanessa Trifonopoulos. Eva Valentine. <laughs> Yi Chen Wang with distinction. <laughs> Emmanuel Renaud Viglas with distinction. William Jamie Barbieri with great distinction. <laughs> Alessio Leandro Bellusi with distinction. <laughs> Emily Bomiel with distinction. Domenico Jordan Carboni with distinction. Morgan Ross Caswell with distinction. Valerie Charles with distinction. Connor Jonathan Reed Cook with great distinction. <laughs> Christophe Daigle with great distinction. <laughs> Alana Marta DeVito with great distinction. Jonathan Dilala with distinction. Ardavan Faraiduni Sarvestani. Elijah Fish with distinction. Vincent Gagnon with great distinction. Violet Haloub with distinction. Charles Cameron Harding with great distinction and winner of the Music Prize awarded to the most outstanding graduate student in graduating student in music. Yeah. 
Rayanna, sorry, Rayandra Hudson with distinction. Alexander Woodman James Johnson with distinction and member of the Garnet Key Society. Landon Kerouac with distinction. Alana Kaki with great distinction. Malte Bernard Leander with great distinction. <laughs> Chae Him Lee with distinction. <laughs> Alex Ann Martineau with distinction. Anna Natalia Nealon with distinction. <clears throat> Michael O'Brien. <clears throat> Simon Pichet Castonguay with distinction. Megan Riley with distinction. <laughs> Jasper Round with distinction. Aaron Shepard Ramcharitar with distinction. Elodie Saint Pierre, <clears throat> Zofia Simziak with great distinction, <clears throat> Noisha Taharian with distinction. Jeffrey Lee Tremblett. <clears throat> Nicholas William Sonis with great distinction. <clears throat> Dana DeBolt Veer with distinction. Lauren Jenny Zarifa with distinction. <clears throat> Zin Li Zhuang. <clears throat> William Daniel Alba Carmichael with distinction. Alex Apostolidis with distinction. <clears throat> Panagiotis Alciviatis Apostolidis with distinction. <clears throat> Masa Sami Armuti with distinction. <clears throat> Amy
Mimi Ode Arquin with distinction. <laughs> Jessica Crystal Baggett with distinction. <laughs> Laurence Barry with distinction. Nathan Francis Bain, with distinction. <laughs> Danielle Solange Baudet, with distinction. <laughs> Paulina Beresa, with distinction. Daniel Boivin, with distinction. <laughs> Jessica Brisebois, with distinction. <laughs> Sarah Ariel Bucci. Audrey Catherine Carbone. <laughs> Daniel Caron with distinction. <laughs> Michelle Zoe Caron Palowski with distinction. Alexandra Brooke Chalier with distinction. <laughs> Tessa Charlebois. <laughs> Aaliyah Crawford with distinction. Victoria Lauren da Silva. <laughs> Katiana Diojust. <laughs> Dwayne G. Drover with distinction. Michael Tom Idelson with distinction. <laughs> Maria Andreina Escalona de Abreu with distinction. <laughs> Zoe Fauvel with distinction. Darren Finney, with distinction. <laughs> Guillaume Fouillet, with distinction. <laughs> Fael Lorraine J. Francois. Emmy Gagnon Gelina with distinction. <laughs> Roberto Caralampio Garcia Roman. <laughs> Jose Guillermo Garcia Sierra with distinction.
Susan Georgette with distinction. Claudia Goulet-Blé with distinction. Megan Moira Horn with distinction. Thompson Carolyn Ann Horsfall with distinction. Sheng Hui Jin with great distinction. <laughs> Ashley Charlotte Joseph. <laughs> Antoine Kasabji. Victoria Klein with distinction. <laughs> Tristan Lajarigue with distinction. <laughs> Alexandra Larcombe. Carolina La Rosa with distinction. Sarah Anne Levesiere. Aimee Lebeau with distinction. Julie Leblanc with distinction. <laughs> Sandy Lebrun with distinction. <laughs> Crystal Leclerc Pereira with great distinction and winner of the Guido Molinari Prize in Studio Arts, which is awarded to an outstanding graduating student in Studio Arts. <laughs> Samantha Grace Leger with great distinction and member of the Garnet Key Society. Chin Chin Ling with distinction. <laughs> Leigh Lorty with distinction. <laughs> Yu Wei Lu with distinction. Audrey Maud Céline Lupien with distinction. <laughs> Alexandra Sheila MacDonald with distinction. <laughs> Margaret Claire McCutcheon with great distinction winner of the Gabor Selassie Prize in Studio Arts, awarded to an outstanding graduating student in Studio Arts. <laughs> Eliza Ray McFarlane, with distinction. <laughs> Elizabeth.
Alexia McKinsey with distinction. Avery Mikulich O'Rourke with great distinction. Debra Alana Mauschkin with great distinction. Tevi Odil Myrtle. Karina Navarro. Maxwell Lincoln Neubacher. Isabel Paquin. Adia Tion Paris. Maria Pasenkova with distinction. Benjamin Perron with great distinction, winner of the Alfred Pinsky Medal, awarded to the highest ranking student, graduating with the degree of Bachelor of or Baccalaureate in Fine Arts, winner of the Gabor Salazi Prize in Studio Arts, awarded to an outstanding graduate student in Studio Arts. Jacqueline Tess Papa with distinction. <laughs> Alina Marie Principe with great distinction. <laughs> Melanie Reed with great distinction. Armando Enrique Rivas Mejias with distinction. <laughs> Sofia Tamara Rolando Gamardo with wow. distinction. <laughs> David W. Rose with distinction. Sarah Sadawi, with distinction. <laughs> Sophia Schiavone. <laughs> Marguerite Maud Shimon Derrien, with distinction. Simone Catherine Albertine Sinclair Vieillette with distinction. <laughs> Maude Sirwa with distinction. <laughs> Matthew Snyder with distinction. Miles Joseph Taffert, with distinction. <laughs> Emma Victoria Tilson. <laughs> 
Tuan Kiet Tran. Tyra Maria Trono Hufancia, with distinction. George Tucci, with distinction. Alicia Turgeon, with great distinction. Linnea Valenti. <laughs> Wendy Alexina Van Call with distinction. <laughs> Viviane Vincent with distinction. Abigail Elizabeth Vibehall with distinction. <laughs> Leah Watts with great distinction. <laughs> Declan Wildman Hopkins. Wei Wu with distinction. <laughs> Autumn Taylor Ash Smith. <laughs> Steve Jamal Azamar with distinction. Emily Elizabeth Bartlett, with distinction. <laughs> Jessica Meredith Beausoleil. <laughs> Elizabeth Bourgoin. Ciara okay. Aldine Anita with this Burke Smith with distinction. <laughs> Laurence Cote with distinction. Fiona Sophia Cousineau. <laughs> Shin Kun Dai. <laughs> Julie D'Entremont with great distinction. Anna Dume with distinction. <laughs> Gregory Eve Fenelon. <laughs> Christopher Fequet with distinction. Isabel Gelfand. <laughs> Quinlan Daniel Alexander Green with distinction.
Georgia Tyler Jean Holland. Karen Lucia Hurtado Huimetri, with distinction. Maria Camoon, with distinction. Noah Henri Labranche, with distinction. Oprah Lemorin. Brooke Jacqueline Greer Craig Madsen with distinction. Alicia Magliocho with distinction. Shayla Mahoney with distinction. Brooklyn Melnick with distinction. <laughs> Philip Morrison with distinction. <laughs> Miriam Daphne Olivier with distinction. John Thomas O'Neill with distinction. Jade Pham with distinction. Oksana Roshkova. Naya Salome with distinction. Marie Jude Salomon. Panina Simon. Sandra Soulard with distinction. <laughs> Dominic Dalour Thornhill with distinction. <laughs> Jackson Thorette with distinction. Emily Nicole Tucker with great distinction. <laughs> Sydney Leslie Van Camp with distinction. <laughs> Alexa Elizabeth Antje Verme with great distinction winner of the Theatre Prize, awarded to the most outstanding graduating student in theatre. <laughs> Theodore Viadero with distinction. Lisa Willia Volci with distinction. <laughs> Ella
Isabella Caitlin Williams with distinction. I would like to call upon the president, uh, the provost and vice president academic for the conferring of the degrees. Would all the graduates please stand? <laughs> no, not you guys. <laughs> the ones in the back. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates from the Faculty of Fine Arts. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. By the powers granted in the University Charter, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by Senate and certified by the Provost. Please be seated. I would now like to ask Dr. Emmanuel Dufour and Joya Duskic to give the valedictory address. Good evening, everyone. Chancellor Wiener, President and Vice Chancellor Carr, Dr. Martin, Dr. Gillis, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. We are pleased to address you tonight on behalf of the graduating students. C'est réellement le plus marquant des honneurs de pouvoir me présenter devant vous ce soir afin de célébrer un moment qu'aucun de nous doit tenir pour acquis. Tonight, we are in the heart of the city's Quartier des Spectacles, where local and international dancers and musicians rumble across this stage daily to create the most enchanting ballets and orchestras. In this remarkable space, we are here to celebrate a significant milestone in the lives of the Faculty of Fine Arts students who are bound to become the practitioners, performers, curators, archivists, writers, and museum workers of tomorrow. All of us gathered in this hall share a common trait in our academic journeys, a sense of belonging to the Faculty of Fine Arts. Yet, we are also recognizing that our individual uniqueness is what allows this faculty to thrive. Concordia was my second home throughout my undergraduate degree in art history and still is today as I continue my studies in the same program now as a graduate student. If I had the chance to go back to the 19-year-old who started her journey at this institution, I would say, Joya, enjoy what is to come and try to take mental pictures of the everyday. I quickly realized following the realization of one, then two, then finally more than 20 art history courses that I felt a sense of vertigo when facing the extensive amount of, uh, of literature made available to me and the immensity of knowledge my professors possessed. I learned that you must surround yourself with master thinkers creators, and innovators to absorb and master their knowledge so that one day you have the ability to become a mentor yourself. I believe that at some point the imposter syndrome fades away and you suddenly feel empowered by the relationships you built as an apprentice. My message to you is to continue to nurture your life with art 
and try to radiate love and kindness to your peers and mentors. I promise you will feel humbled and cherished in return while also projecting light wherever you might go next. Thank you. Merci, Joya, pour ces belles paroles, ces paroles si inspirantes. Il y a maintenant quelques années, j'ai eu l'honneur de compléter un projet collaboratif en maîtrise en anthropologie portant sur le mouvement de sécurisation culturelle des étudiants autochtones ou des étudiants de Première Nation du Québec. Au moment d'entreprendre mes études doctorales, j'aspirais à pouvoir réaliser un projet me permettant de décloisonner mes résultats de recherche dans le but de contribuer humblement au processus de rencontre de la population québécoise avec les réalités autochtones du territoire. C'est alors que je fis mon entrée au département d'éducation artistique de l'Université Concordia. Non seulement mon projet fut-il accueilli avec enthousiasme, mais je pus par la suite bénéficier d'une grande expertise en matière de recherche-création et d'un accompagnement intellectuel présentant une très belle sensibilité. Ce parcours me permit de développer de nouvelles approches interdisciplinaires, réflexives et relationnelles en plus de côtoyer un très grand nombre d'artistes-chercheurs issus de différents univers culturels et investis dans des projets de recherche aussi novateurs qu'inspirants. À la lumière de cette expérience, j'ose formuler ce soir un premier souhait. Je souhaite que la multiplication des projets créatifs, interdisciplinaires et relationnels puisse continuer de convaincre de l'importance d'ouvrir, de diversifier, voire d'humaniser la recherche académique. Je profite également de cette tribune exceptionnelle pour vous adresser, en terminant, un deuxième souhait, peut-être même plus ambitieux, celui-ci. J'ose formuler le souhait que chacune des trajectoires que nous emprunterons, à travers nos différentes approches et projets d'avenir respectifs, puisse contribuer à assainir la relation aux différents groupes humains et non humains du territoire, de manière à participer au processus de guérison individuelle, collective et systémique qui s'avère plus que jamais nécessaire. To the classes of 2020, 2021 and 2022, the Faculty of Fine Arts has equipped you to fulfill these calls to action. The future is ours to create. Together, ensemble, mamou, pour l'amour de ce qui fut, pour l'amour de ce qui est et pour l'amour de ce qui sera. Joya and myself would like to thank you. Niawen, Miguesh, Tinashkumetenao, Oleone, Tiawank, Nakurmik, merci et félicitations à tous et à tous. Dr. Dufour and Joya, thank you for sharing your vision for our classes of, 19, of 2010, uh, <laughs> oh boy, 19, 20, and 21. We share your enthusiasm. I think I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this just about wraps up our ceremony. Thank you for being here to celebrate the success of the graduating class of 2022, but 21 and 20. <laughs> Graduates, I hope today's ceremony has been yet another exhilarating marker in the time that you spent with us at Concordia. La collation des grades est un droit de passage vers ce que nous espérons tout sincèrement être un avenir formidable et brillant pour chacun d'entre vous. Avant que vous ne vous lancez dans un avenir radieux, je peux être vous demander de prendre un moment pour rendre hommage aux personnes qui vous ont accompagné jusqu'à ce que vous soyez 
là où vous êtes aujourd'hui. Some of your supporters are your fellow classmates sitting among our audience. Some of your champions are the faculty and staff. Concordia is a great university with the promise of an even better future. And on this day, there is no better way to measure our success and no better measure of our potential than all of you. We will always be your university. I would like to wish you all wealth that you succeed and follow your passions. And before we move outside, I want to leave you with one parting message. May the force be with you. I would like to invite you outside of the room for photo opportunities. Have a lovely evening. Thank you.